and I'm a human being who has found himself targeted, bank stalked, poisoned, electrocuted, drugged, made very ill with the disease people are calling Morgellons, uh, harassed with electronic microwave and scalar weapons, remote neural monitoring, and other high technological advanced weapon systems <clears throat> that are being used against myself and many other civilians. I haven't been saying much recently because I've been having a very difficult time due to the illness that I've been given and my wife, Petra, and the constant uh, V2K harassment she undergoes and the constant stressors of uh, whatever it is they've done to our bodies that seems to be uncleanable, unstoppable, and drives her insane. Uh, unfortunately, this illegal crimes against humanity, torture of non-combatant civilians in a non-wartime uh, in this country is taking a toll on Petra and myself, both physically and mentally, um, because of her anger and frustration <clears throat> and the damage that we've suffered. Her psychological state is fragile at best and her frustration and anger with the torture that she undergoes and the comments that are made via the microwave broadcasts and biological communications technologies being used against us. She is really at her wit's end <clears throat> and the people around us are frustrated and uh, complaining to the owner about her noise and our fighting and the difficulties that we're having. Um, so again, we're looking to move. Um, the nice lady who has been very generous and very kind to us is now receiving threats from the owner for assisting us and harboring us. And so uh, I've already begun the process of uh, speaking with the representatives at uh, one of the agencies that the mayor of New York, uh, Mr. de Blasio, has <coughs> created uh, in the hopes that their efforts and my efforts combined could assist us in obtaining a more stable housing situation along with uh, benefits uh, from the state and our federal government that we badly need. And uh, in doing so, I've uh, been given a list of things that I have to do. And so I'm going and applying for uh, the various welfare and uh, I've begun my disability benefits application once again for the fourth time um, and although this has been extremely difficult mentally and psychically and spiritually uh, and physically the toll it's taken on me is quite obvious uh, I'm losing my teeth um, and I need to go to the dentist to have the rest of this top row removed, there's about four of them left, because the infections that I'm getting from the broken teeth are causing me extra concern.
concern. However, <clears throat> despite all this hardship and difficulty, I manage or attempt to manage to obtain, create, and remain in uh, some state of hope and um, despite all of these hardships I have begun once again talking praying to God for whatever assistance and support and love and kindness and water and safety and, uh, that he's able to provide as well as asking for forgiveness for anything that may come between us any choices or actions I may have made or either knowingly or unknowingly and I'm building a mental construct for myself that allows me to continue the one that despite this suffering here uh, believes that God in his infinite wisdom uh, knows what he's doing with me and my life and uh, I think that's bears out scripturally if one cares to look <clears throat> uh, as difficult as these trials and tribulations are I try to remain grateful for the many blessings I still continue to receive and this of course has changed everything about my life almost about myself and my mind and my understanding of who and what I am and why I'm here it's sad that such circumstances exist especially in a country that claims not to do such things and I am saddened frustrated and angered by the many many reports I hear of people suffering all over the world under similar circumstances of stalking and harassment and attacks with biologicals and technologies. So I'm grateful for the prayers that I know I've received from many comments and thoughts and support, uh, the medicines and things to help us have been greatly and received and I'm grateful for any and all help that we receive. Um, as difficult as these times are for me and for Petra and others, uh, I'd like to say that um, I've been blessed after a many month long struggle and uh, with the support of the people at Mount Sinai Hospital in their uh, gastroenterology and liver clinic because I suffer from uh, infection from genotype 3 of the hepatitis C virus which uh, unfortunately I believe I received as part of a, a program uh, masquerading as a 
testing, but that's another story. And I've had this illness in me for many years, this virus. So the medicine to treat the genotype 3 hepatitis C virus in human beings is called uh, uh, Declenza, and the other one is called uh, Sobaldi. And currently in this country, they're really extremely expensive uh, in the neighborhood of the thousand dollars a pill for one and uh, several thousand dollars for the other and uh, like I said after a long struggle and uh, five month appeals through the appeal boards of the state and the health laws uh, after so many years of receiving very little care or concern to, despite my many attempts, uh, a kind doctor um, approved my appeal and I was granted this gift uh, to take these medicines, this uh, Declenza and this uh, Savaldi. So, I've begun, uh, I'm treatment naive, which means I have not, <clears throat> I chose not to take the interferon and the ribovirin, although I did get the medicines and was ready to do it, but then this targeting started, so, so I, I am hopeful that if I live long enough, to see the results of this medication, it supposedly has a over 90% cure rate, and um, my liver function is uh, at about half uh, or something. And the fibrosis is about two and a half or three or something on the scale, and uh, the viral load is uh, I forget 200 million copies per some tiny amount so I'm pleased and excited to be able to be blessed to take this medicine because I know that there are many people around the world who can't get this yet <clears throat> although they are gonna reduce pricing in other countries so that's <clears throat> for another issue, um, and I pray for those many people around the world who suffer from illness and disease, infirmity, and other things that are brought about needlessly by our system and the people who desire to maintain things the way they are, or possibly worse, rather than allow the many developments in science and medicine and energy and technology that have been repressed absconded with by national security, but that again is for another issue. Um, as far as the uh, New York Times article, I was blessed to be able to speak with the man, uh, Mr. McFate, who was quite a nice man, and uh, he did a great deal of research, and he told me that I probably wouldn't like what he was going to write but that his job was not to tell the world what he believed, but to show the world the fair and balanced sides of an issue that really needs to be looked at. <coughs> um, and I appreciate his work. He spoke to several thousand people for this article, and uh, it is true that this issue needs to be looked at regardless of what the causality, what the reality is uh, 
too many people are suffering and uh, so that's pretty much where my life is at this moment uh, it's pretty much up in the air again and that's one of the things I really don't like um, this technology and our situation and our psychology and uh, hybrid game theory no touch torture EEG header dining uh, whatever technologies are being used the breakdown of an individual through torture is unconscionable uh, it's against international law it's a crime against humanity and it should not stand despite what happens to me or the many victims of this unannounced covert war against innocent populations I wish to state that it's wrong it should stop humanity needs to take stock of itself and stand up for its true meaning and not allow others to usurp our moral, ethical, physical, mental, or spiritual freedoms by any means. Thank you for watching. May you find peace and joy in your life. God bless us all. Good night.